Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Demogorgon. All right, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and then I'll switch over to Sharpie. So don't worry if you can't see this. I know you can't. This is all for me just to make sure I'm getting everything in here and then I'll switch over. So just hang tight. Oh, I gotta remember about those crazy, crazy donkey legs. All right, so I'm trying to think of a good monster pose, you know? Something fun. Uh, you know what, That's, let's stick this one out more because this one needs to be like this. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, let's see. So, uh, of course he's a monster. So yeah, it's gotta have a good monster pose, right? Let's see, put more of him down here. Oops, that might be too far down. I don't wanna take the chance that we're falling off, right? That's what all these sketches are about, is to make sure that I have enough on here and I don't fall off the page. Let's see. There's this crazy donkey leg. Also, oof, I gotta remember, sometimes I sketch way too dark. And I mean, if that's probably good for you, you can see it. But uh, because I want to to ink this in, yeah, I can't have all that. We just can't. All right, so I'm trying to also decide like what I'm actually going to darken in for the ink, because um, a lot of this, I I think color would be the better way to go, you know. But I got to give you something, right? So I'm trying to think of, or trying to decide what I'm actually going to color. And, okay, so that's pretty good for the legs. Uh, oh, I need all that crazy gobbledygook on his donkey legs, right? Um, let's see. It's mostly through here. Let's see, a little bit coming up, yeah. Um, Let's see, so I got him kind of all hunched over monster style. And I think the way to go is um, um, bloom, I guess is the best way I could say it. And what I mean by that is his, his head the, um, showing, so, or, or the mouth showing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So. Uh, so it, like look, when a flower blooms, you know, it opens. That's kind of what I mean. That's what I'm saying by bloom. I think showing his mouth is a way to go. So we're going to do that. All right. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, I'm kind of over exaggerating too, just because I can. You know, this is this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. He draws how he draws. She draws how she draws. And we'll all meet somewhere in between. But I'm taking artistic license with with oops, that shouldn't be down. I'm taking artistic license with uh, um, the bloom, le bloom. You know, just showing some fun stuff we can do here. I'm trying to decide how to. Show the teeth, you know, um, and still have fun with it. Because, see, it could look like it's all just embedded, but I kind of want to do some fun teeth. Some monster teeth. I mean, that's the whole point, right? We're drawing Demogorgons, Demogorgons. How do you say it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, I have him kind of hunched over, so his shoulders are going to be back here. I think I'm going to put one arm out. And then the other one. Ooh, I know what I'll do. So, I'm going to do kind of a, a battling pose. Because I'm going to draw the chief next. And, uh, I think... I think, uh, I'll draw him kind of as if he was facing off with the, the chief. You know, 
So that means I have to, uh, I'm gonna draw the T facing this way. Um, let's see, I want the hand kind of in a monster pose. Like that. And I guess the other fingers are gonna be kind of behind this one, so you're not gonna see much uh, from the way it's, it's, it's a monster style, you know? Um, and let's see, I kind of want, kind of want, let's see, I gotta make sure. And also, I kind of want it like this, just to make sure that you can see all the, the uh, crazy, um, well, I don't know what you call this, monster, monster veins, you know? The monster look to it. Uh, that's another thing I'm gonna have to figure out. Uh, in the sketch, like what I want to do with that. How do I represent it, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to make that up there. Let's see, that's going to be his his other arm. Kind of back behind him. But I think I'll do the same thing, kind of, kind of monster style, you know? <coughs> no, maybe I'll do this one coming at you. So, let's see, let's see how I can figure that out. So I want to do it like that. I gotta still make it look realistic, you know. Let's see, there's a digit, there's a digit. There's a digit, there's a digit. That's a digit. And then the last one will be like that. Yeah, I think that'll work, because here's what's funny. This is a monster. You can do whatever I want. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Well, you can, but, you know, that's not very nice. Okay, I think I'm ready. I think that's about all I want to do with uh, the pencil. Let's move on to Sharpies. So I'm going to use a Sharpie Fine Point and a Sharpie Pen, and mostly the Sharpie Fine Point, but the pen to get some detail in there like that. And let's do that now. Let's do the teeth. But you know what? I've got two versions of a Sharpie Pen. This one is a medium. I'm going to use this one because it's a little thicker than the uh, than the other Sharpie, and this will help me to to uh, bring out a little bit of that weight from the the ink line. Okay, so basically I'm just going to start with some teeth. I've got my sketch out. I know where everything's going to be. So I'm just going to do some teeth and get me going. And I know they might look like they're floating, but I sketched them to be right here. So I, I have total control over everything. So you can kind of float them like that if you'd like. And just kind of trust where we're going and uh, see where it takes us. All right. And so I'm just going to go around and just start drawing the teeth. So let's go ahead and just kind of a point and round, you know, you can do it like that. I kind of sometimes come up and point like that, or sometimes I'll start at the point or the round and go up like that. It's however you want, you know, because again, this is, this is our drawing. This is how I draw. You draw how you draw. You know that speech. I just gave it. Okay. And so... That's all. I'm just going to kind of do some monster teeth. Let's see. And then there's five uh, petals to the bloom. I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I just like calling it. So I'm going to add teeth to all five. Something like that. This one I'm going to kind of stick up. These are all kind of going in. This one's going to be out like that. So these teeth going to use to kind of show that it's it's coming off of the, uh, the, the pedal you know it's 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 3d like that and then the last ones they're just simple simple shapes all 
All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna switch over to the other Sharpie now because all that detail inside there, there's not much I could do with the Sharpie. I'm gonna have to do that with color. So we're just gonna kind of follow the rest of it now and just follow the bloom. So I'm gonna come in here, come in here, here, and here, okay? So now I'm just gonna follow it out, okay? Gonna kind of go around and up, back down into this. So same thing, just go around. So just like that, the simple, simple petals. Here it's gonna be a little different because same thing here, I have them going, I have this line going underneath the teeth. So we're gonna have to start and stop at a few places, okay? So stop as you get to that and jump in between and then get over that. See, it's not so hard, it's easy. Um, let's see, I'm gonna start from here just so I can, because I can see it better from the way I'm sitting. I talked about this before, I can't just turn my page as I'm drawing like you can, because a lot of times I do it too, and I'm sitting here when I'm sketching, I'm like, hmm, I could do this, draw that, draw that, and I turn it as I need it, but I can't do it this time. It, this, this has to be taped down for the camera. So I'm just kind of uh, flowing how I can with my limitations, you know? Uh, it's it's kind of crazy, kind of kooky, but that's what I'm gonna do. Let's try to add a little bit of something. I mean, it's got, it's got some stuff in there, but not a lot because, like I said, color is gonna take care of most of it, but we can do something, you know, something like that. Just kind of some weird little uh, mouth skin thing, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know, we can kind of give it some life, you know? Something like that. There, we, we added a, a little something and then we'll take care of the rest with color, okay? So, let me get back to my picture here. Um, this is my reference picture. It's not what the actual uh, Demogorgon is. It's not in this position. I had to figure this out first. You know what? Now that I think about it, let's let's add some crazy skin. Well, no, let's get there. Let's get there. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. I'm excited to draw this stuff, okay? So, let's, let's use our, our inked lines as start-stop points so I can draw his shoulder like that. And see, basically because I had those lines, I could use that and I'm, I can walk away now. I know where to start and stop. That's what I'm calling my start and stop points. And I think what I'm gonna do is do a basic outline and then come back with the, the tiny Sharpie and maybe add a little bit of muscle, uh, musculature. I got that word right. I was practicing that to, to show some of the depth and detail, but I'm not gonna go too crazy because I wanna do that with color. So for the bold outline, so what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna basically do this and I'm kind of drawing uh, um, anatomy because you know these are ribs like this but he's he's thin and gangly so I'm gonna draw his stomach like that to his uh, pelvic bone the pelvis I don't know why I call it the pelvic bone but uh, um, I'm gonna stop right there I can't keep going to the legs but let's do the arms so we we know where we are okay so I'm gonna bring one arm down like this Gonna do the bicep, not the bicep, I'm sorry, the forearm. And uh, that's where the bicep is. Forearm like this to the hand. And I'll go ahead and finish off that line, connect it like that. Because it's kind of back behind him. Um, I'll add some musculature in there in a second. I'm all excited now that I can say that word, musculature. Uh, and so now we're gonna draw his hand. And I'm gonna have his hand kind of like this. So see how this thumb is kind of weird, it's pointed straight at you? Just bear with me there and just, we're just gonna kind of have some, a little fun with it. So here's the back of the hand to that thumb that I was talking about, to the, the, the nail, because he's got real long pointy nails like that. But it's because it's pointed at you, you can't really see it as much. So I'm just gonna do that. Come there to close it off. And I'm gonna draw the other fingers like that too. So I'm gonna draw this finger, this, that digit, then this one, then this one. Okay, then this one, then that one. And see how I kind of made it to a point? Like that. So basically that's that, but with a pointy finger there. So drawing the rest are back behind it. So there's the back of this finger. There's the knuckle to that point, like that. Draw the next one to that point like that. Bring it in. And now all you can really do is draw the pinky straight like that. That's kind of, 
the best way we can do it. Okay, but again, to a point, you know? All right, so let's do the rest of the hand like that. Now, since we're here, let's add a little bit of muscle tone. So basically, I'm just gonna kinda come in here and do this. Give him one of these. And again, I should do this with color, but he's such a, a gangly, uh, monster looking, uh, uh, not natural thing that I kind of want to add these details, you know? Okay. All right, I'm just kind of adding some little, little monster details is basically what I'm trying to say. It's just little things to help it stand out, you know? Uh, he's got a weird muscular shoulder that we're just gonna add something like that. Uh, okay, so let's go on to this other arm. Now this one, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do exactly what I was talking about, the, uh, the um, veiny monster stuff. So to do that, I kinda wanna do this line floating up like this to the hand or the arm. And we'll thicken the arm up just a little bit. So what I'm gonna try to do is make this stand out over the arm, something like this. Okay. And I know it kind of doesn't make sense, but just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sketching while I'm drawing of where it's going to be. So it's something like that. So see, it's kind of the, just the weird veiny thing that's gonna be kind of all over his hand. And I'm gonna, I know this looks like it's floating, but I'm basically going with my sketch. So just kind of hear me out there. Just bear, bear with me. Not like a real bear. None of those stinky things. Okay, I think that's good for that. So now I can add the big sharpie. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of follow in with my where where the with the uh, arm is gonna be and see how I thicken that up. That's that's what I wanted to do. So that's gonna be his forearm that come in and do this and then I can draw his hand and the hand is just gonna be out like that I think it's just gonna be a monster hand I don't know why I say it like that every time so I'm gonna do his thumb like this and I'll do his finger kind of bent back like that so there's that digit that digit and then the pointy finger like that. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like that. Okay, and the other fingers are back behind it, so all we really have to do is kind of accent certain parts and say, well, that's it. That's all we can do because, uh, yeah, everything's back behind this section, so you can't really have to, you, or you don't have to draw all of this. So I'm going to thicken up a little, a couple of little lines here because I don't like how thin this went. That was the style. It's what I wanted. I got what I wanted but I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit just to make it uh, cohesive. And cohesive means uh, all flowing together. It makes sense. Okay. All right, so let's take this and add just a few little lines here like I did over there. That's his, his bicep, there's his muscles on his forearm something like that and again these lines it's okay to go crazy like that because he's got all these weird uh, veiny monster stuff you know so I'm just kind of doing something crazy um, so I'm gonna add no, no 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 I'm not I was about to add some some of the muscul musculature here but I'm not gonna do that let's uh, go ahead and finish off the rest of the leg and get crazy and have fun so I'm gonna draw his hip bone his buttocks. Yes, even the monster has a buttock because he's got, uh, you know, um, human features. We do, they do. Let's look at it that way. So here's his leg to his knee. So I'm gonna draw his knee, the other side of his leg, to the flat where his crotch is. That's, that's how they made it. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, and he's got the veiny things here, but let's finish off the rest of them before we get back to that. So I'm gonna draw his, his hip bone there to his leg, down to his knee, 
back of the leg to that knee and draw his uh, uh, crazy donkey legs. And it's gonna come down here like this to the, to the, uh, the, the toe, the pointy toe. Uh, he's got another little thing inside there like that. Let's do the back of it to this little crook of that donkey leg. I know it's not donkey legs, but it's just funny to say. So I'm going to keep saying it. Um, okay, so here, again, he's got that crazy musculature. So let's see what we can do here. Again, I'm going to do some some cuckoo crazy stuff, just trying to come up with, uh, you know, the, the weird look to it. Thicken this up just a little bit. And I like these that are floating off. You know, kind of like that, how it's like floating off of the arm. I'm exaggerating, it's not quite that big, but uh, they are pretty cool. So I'm gonna take our list, artistic license is what I keep saying. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna do some of these. How about some of that? One of those here, a little bit there. And I'm doing kind of like a vein looking thing, like that. Just to give it something, you know, because there's not, I'm not trying to do exactly what they have here. I'm just trying to interpret it my own way, you know? And that's all we're trying to do is just have some fun and make your own. You know, this is yours. When your friends see it, you know, they're going to have their version. You have yours and it's like, well, you know, this is, this is how I learned to do it. Or this is how we decided to do it. Look at it that way. All right, I'm going to thicken up these outer edges a little bit. Come on down on the press is right. I'm going to do that one here. Now I'm going to do the uh, bottom of the leg with his pointy toes. Okay, and then come back in here and do some of that, that, uh, that veiny stuff. Just kind of following the crazy sketch that I did. So something like that. Okay, so yeah, now I'm gonna add just a little bit, uh, just a just a hair of, of, of detail. Not much because like I said, I want color to take care of a lot of this. This this is more fun. Uh, this is going to be more fun coloring than anything else. Um, oops, sorry about that. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of the, uh, the detail just to make it, you know, all work together, you know? Just something like that. And he does have his little uh, um, abs, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and do something like that, just to give him a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. Because, like I said, I want I want coloring to take care of a lot of it. Just something like that, just to you know give him some some tone, some definition. He's been he's been working out. He's buff. He's proud. You know something like that. And he does have the ribs, but I don't want to do those. I don't let the the coloring take care of that. And so, uh, you know, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do for that. Let color take care of the rest. So that is the. Demo Gorgon. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.